And we're back for a big review here at Total Toy Recon. As you can see, we have the walls exposed here on the side, which I really don't like. But hey, we've got to do it because we have a massive, massive, ugh, 12 and a half inch Darth Maul jumbo figure from da -da -da, Gentle Giant Limited. Yes, yeah, so... Thanking Gentle Giant for sending us out Darth Maul. He has just been recently released. We are diving into him today. And to give you some scale, there is a 6-inch uh, Star Wars Black Series First Order Trooper. And here is a Episode One Darth Maul. Not the sexiest Darth Maul that there was. But to tell you the truth, with uh, a couple of points of articulation that he had, he was pretty cool and pretty badass and admit it you all bought him the first day so we're going to open this figure up today we're going to check him out and see what he's like now one thing i did not realize now i've opened several of these um they are resealable so there is a roll of tape here that you can actually peel back and reseal the figure back inside the giant clamshell I've kind of gotten to a point where that's a lot of packaging, so I'm just keeping the cards and I'm throwing out the packaging. So I figured once I'm done, I'll keep the last one and then I can always move them around if I want. But it's just so much easier just to open them up, enjoy them, get them out, have them on a shelf. Um, you know, sure, you got to blow dust off of them from time to time, but hey, that's part of toy collecting. So let's flip it around here in the package. We do have a great uh, display of mull and admit it, the first time you saw that second blade come out, you just lost your mind. Um, we are trying to literally collect them all, um, but more or less just the ones that we really want. And right now I'm becoming more and more fascinated with the Kenner figures that I never had in this size. I mean, it's kind of like this jumbo version. So we've got Concept Luke, Concept Vader. You're going to see them a little bit. I would love to get Tarkin, the Mando, the Prototype, just a regular Mando, th and Thrawn. Imperial Commander, I have tons of those. So not too interested, and he was an exclusive recently. But, so this is nice. This is a nice feature. And in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like Figure Shield. But you're getting a big version of a Figure Shield package. And uh, it's awesome that General Giant is doing that for us. But here I have, um, I have Wooer. Um, he's packaged. And believe it or not, this was the one that I ordered from the Star Wars Insider magazine. And, um, you know, this is a Protecto pack. Um, you can get these with figure shields. A good place to check out. Um, I've got numerous ones. Um, uh, I believe this is this is from way back in the day, from 1999. This is a Proto pack. So, um Great concept, uh, and I actually did a couple of things where I sold some really expensive ones, and I actually in included this in there to make sure that it would arrive in tip-top shape, and kind of wish I had them back, because these become a premium after a while. You're not really sure. You kind of rotate them in and out there. I have war in there simply for nostalgia purposes. Oh! Simply for nostalgia purposes, uh, as because I've seen war now for like nine bucks. He's like super cheap. Um, we're going to open up our little Gentle Giant booklet, which I don't know if there was something going on with uh, COVID and everything, but I think I've seen this booklet like five times over. I've definitely talked about it, and I've reviewed almost everybody on it at this point. So we're going to open him up. All right, and we're back. So we're going to start right away with there is a slight blemish right here under the eye. It's actually like a paint scratch. I don't know if you can quite see that. I'm like in my camera, but right there is a slight paint scratch. Like I can give a, I can give a little bit to the horns, but it's just kind of weird. Um, right here, we do have the stud in the ear. That was something that uh, Ray Park asked um, George Lucas, if he could add to the character. And one thing that I'm going to say, he's very, very stiff, which is great. He's brand new. Um, the legs are individual legs. We do have five points of articulation. One, two, three, four, five. There's no middle piece. So we are as authentic as we can get for a Kenner release. Now, the one thing I think it's kind of interesting is that uh, Gentle Giant didn't go all the extra mile and give us arms that we could turn. So you definitely have to do the, 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 two, the two blades out and you can't just do the one blade fighting. Um, as you know... If you watch many of my reviews, you know that I do not have the best uh, flattest surface here, which I'm actually working on. So pulling this out, this is nice because this is very much in the realm of the old Kenner style figures. So we just have a little bit and then we have this little extra skinny one that comes out. We put this like so, but uh, so here 
as we look at this, um, he's going to cut his own hand off. The arms don't come in. And this needs to be about another little extra piece longer. So this is interesting. So I'm on two, two, two schools of thought here. One, they could have just given us a sword without the, um, without the telescoping lightsabers. Very much um, that, that would have been a more modern figure like the Darth Maul here that we had from 99. However, this is much more in theme with the Kenner release. However, they needed to make this just a little bit longer. So if you look back here, and this is a pretty good example, you can almost see in this old uh, Hasbro version, it's almost as if there's an extra extender piece here and here between the two lightsabers, like a regulator almost, to connect them. We don't have that here. So this saber needs to be just a little bit longer. That's the weird part, because he can't actually hold this too well without the character kind of almost burning his hands. See, look. I mean, it's a little bit more daring. But overall, eh, you know. Um, now we can, uh, and I've discussed this before, is this a cape up? Are you a cape up guy or a cape down guy? I think Mole's more of a cape down guy, though Mole actually had the hood. So it would be interesting, it would have been more interesting to actually make the hood bigger and come up higher. And I only say that because in a previous release, um, when they released the concept Darth Vader, see how much taller he is with all this great blue? This cape actually comes up. So it kind of gives the illusion that it's a hood. Um, but we don't really have that with Maul's cape, even though it is a little bit more stylized than Vader's. Um, this figure is awesome. We have a review of it. And then to give them all somebody fight, we have concept Luke. Now, here's what they could have done with the saber. They could have done silver with two reds on either end and then connect them like that and it's just permanently out. That's not in style with the Kenner line. So as you can see, Luke is more of a Bespin Luke. And then here we have this, the telescoping uh, concept Vader, which is a little bit more in style. So two schools of thought on this, and I'm a little 50-50 on it. One, I appreciate the telescope. Great. But this could have been a tad longer. I think the face is fantastic. Very basic, but yet still uh, captures all the essence of the character in the tattooing. Like, if you can do it here, you should be able to do it on that. And they did, which is great. Um, I'm really starting to feel as if maybe I should just start collecting Jedi and Sith. Uh releases in the jumbo line are really really nice it's they're fantastic designs and they're fun and they're big and that's what i like it makes me feel like a kid because the figure is in this tiny little thing that you know i can actually hide in all of my hand it's this big toy reminds me of the old 12 inch line which i had a bunch of when i was a kid so overall i really gotta say i do like uh this this Darth Maul release in the classic Kenner style. He uh, retails for about $80. He's the Phantom Menace uh, one, which I think is funny that they still put Star Wars on the pack, even though they have it as the Phantom Menace Darth Maul jumbo figure from General Giant. And again, retails for $80. I would definitely check some of your um, Entertainment Earths, Big Bad Toy Store. Check those guys out and see if anybody has one on uh, sale or free shipping. It's the best way to get it. But of course, you should always order from your local comic book shop. My name is Bob. Thank you for tuning in to Total Toy Recon. And please check out all the reviews as well as the reviews of the Jumbo figures. We have several of them uh, up on our YouTube page as well as our Instagram. You have a most excellent night and may the force be with you.